Radhe Radhe everyone today i have invited Rakesh Roshan who recently has cracked the job of a power bi developer at Genpack which is a big mnc company you all know we will discuss about his journey so far all the important interview questions which you need to prepare as a fresher plus the salary that one can expect in the power bi role so this video will be very much important and helpful for you all so do watch this video completely till the end so let's begin the video and before that please do like this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with me rakesh can you introduce yourself first sure shashank uh, first of all thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share my experience uh, yes i am rakesh roshan i am from nizamabad and coming to my academics after the 10th i have chosen diploma in electronics engineering and later uh, coming to btech i have chosen btech in data science so i just recently graduated in january 2025 and after graduation uh, i was continuously upskilling myself and applying to multiple jobs for the different data related roles and during this process uh, i just i gave for multiple companies uh, interviews based on that i got i got an opportunity in a uh, pune for a power bi developer role and while i was working there uh, i was continuously giving interviews for uh, other companies as well so during that time i got an opportunity to give an interview in genpact so uh, in genpact also i cleared that interview and i have joined in april 2025 and it's one month till now okay uh, so when was your graduation completed what you mentioned uh, in january 2025 and yes, when it got completed before that only you started working also yes 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 uh, so basically uh, our, what our college does is like uh, in four the, there are four years of btech right in four second semester they will give us time to explore and uh, do some internships or get yourself a job so in that way they have give us chance and i have cracked the job and and in that company you worked for how many months uh, in previous uh, organization uh, i worked for three months from december to uh, march and after four months you got the job at genpack right yes you are so as a like you i will consider you as a fresher only because you only have four months of experience right so as a fresher uh, how what are the job hunting strategies that you implemented to get the job uh, in the current market situation uh, yes shashank uh, coming to job hunting uh, i mainly focused on linkedin rather than naukri i, I also i am also on naukri but uh, i optimized my profile in linkedin and uh i mostly applied uh not applied but i have tried the method of referral like uh if there is a company which is hiring for some x role uh in x location i'll directly go to that company's uh, linkedin page and i will search the people related to uh that domain for example if there is an opening of power bi i'll go to that location and that company and in people section i'll find some data analytics related seniors so i'll connect with them and i will send a connection request to for around 15 to 20 and from that i'll get a 10 or 10 request they are get accepted and i'll share my brief about what i am what my education background is what projects all i have done what skills i have i'll share with them and with a resume and email so and with a job id so that they will get a easy to get a referral so this is the process i follow for the most of times and uh, sometimes they may give the reply or they may don't give the reply or sometimes they may uh, what we call like they don't give response so this is a continuous process i was uh, doing from the january so i i am mainly focused on referral process rather than applying on portals i have also applied on portals but sometimes the ats score is matching but uh, the uh, job id score is not matching so because of that concerns i have to took a decision to do this thing so as a fresher people who will be watching this video you can hear from rakesh experience that only linkedin can actually help you to get a job also if you are using it properly so what was the frequency of calls you you requested for referrals so how many interview calls you got through this uh, yes shashank so Uh, i have been applying applied for more than uh, like uh, 70 to 80 referrals uh, i have like uh, sent to them but i got 12 referrals and from the 12 uh, the conversation of uh, interview calls are seven and from seven uh, i get, uh, i have cleared three that is really commendable so you can hear from rakesh so he uh, he requested for 80 referrals he got reply from 12 people he actually got the interview calls from seven companies and he cracked three companies as a fresher because he had only four months of experience 
so you can see opportunities are there in the market but you should know how to get that opportunity with your good strong skills and from the skills point of view what all skills you are uh, uh, like showing on your resume uh yes Shashank. uh so i have shown excel sql and power bi a part of that to stand out among the other candidates i have also uh, learned a little bit about power automate and power apps as well and uh, some semantic model and some like advanced topics but with a very basic knowledge of understanding so i have mentioned these skills in my resume okay rakesh now let's talk about your interview experience at genpack how many rounds happened and what did they actually discuss in the interviews uh yes Shashank. uh th there was only one round of interview which uh which last around 45 to one hour 45 minutes to one hour during the interview uh they have mainly focused on sql and power bi and uh i have gathered some of the questions from my all the interviews that i have gave that uh, mostly mostly asked or they what they are expecting so that point of view i have gathered uh, i have noted down the some of the questions and i'll be sharing now so friends you can see he has gathered few questions around sql and power bi which he has gained from his experience of giving interviews in multiple companies so please do like this video he has come to showcase his experience and also do congratulate him in the comment box as he is giving a lot of input to you all yeah rakesh you can go forward and explain the kind of questions that one should prepare so uh, these are the questions uh, that uh, i have gathered for the uh, by attending multiple interviews coming to a sql uh, there, are, there are different types of comments they they may ask so uh, the different types of comments are ddl dml tcl and dcl so in DDL, for example, uh, create, alter, truncate, and drop are the comments. For example, they may ask you to write the syntax for create. So uh, at that point, we should able to write the syntax. For example, create table table name. So one should have a basic understanding of syntax as well, which helps. Next comes to window functions. In window functions, there are different functions uh, like rank, dense rank, row number, lead, lag, and some aggregation functions. So one should have a very good knowledge of uh, these functions. Next comes to joins. So to get a accurate results or uh, the output that we expect, we need to perform uh, joins. Those joins are self join, inner join, outer join, left join, and right join. Uh, next come to CTA. So CTA stands for common table expression, which you create to reuse this table for the multiple times to get the different results. Uh, next comes to the views and stored procedures. So views as it is a virtual table in which we create the required table according to our requirement and it is stored as a virtual which doesn't take any space next comes to stored procedure in stored procedure we write the code for one time and we can reuse that for multiple times by just clicking a button to run it next comes to ssms which is it stands for sql server management studio so this is similar to my work uh, my sql workbench so one should have a knowledge on this tool as well because most of the companies they have using SSMS to connect the workbench and Power BI. So this is a part of SQL. Next coming to Power BI. So first question is type of filters. So type of filters are page level filter, visual level filter and report level filter and paginated reports. So paginated reports is a report in uh, which is used for the uh, transactional data. If we want a report that needs to be printed on shared so we use paginated reports to share the to share the tabular data next comes to second one time intelligent functions so in time intelligent fun functions for example uh, there is a function called same period last year so this type of time intelligent functions should be uh, one should be aware of next comes to data flows uh, data flows is a online power query editor in which we do the transformations and save the data point to the destination which we need where we need to store and we can also create a pipelines using data flows next comes to semantic model so semantic model is a copy of the data set for example if you wanted to refresh our uh, report the semantic model is needed so also we can create multiple reports on one single semantic model as well so uh, having a semantic knowledge on semantic model really helps in interviews next comes to lake house and warehouse so uh, lake house is nothing but where the data stored is like unstructured semi structured and structured coming to warehouse there we can store only structured data and that is using the warehouse we can create the reports next comes to parameters so parameters uh, are used for the dynamic slicing uh, without using the slicers and some filters next comes to uh, rls so rls stands for role level security and one should have a very good knowledge on the role level security practical implementation 
then comes to the page level security and report level security these two can be implemented using apps in service so they create the security using apps for the different audience next comes to the query folding and uh, remember that query folding can be only done when you use the data source as sql then comes to star schema and snowflake schema so in star schema the fact table is in middle and it is surrounded by the dimensions table uh, if it is in snowflake schema in snowflake schema there is one big dimension table and from that big dimensional table there will be multiple sub dimension tables will be created for a better understanding and for better data modeling then comes to power bi service and fabric so uh, these two also very important to understand in power bi service we publish and share the reports through uh, power bi service by uploading there and coming to fabric fabric is a cloud analytical platform where it uh, it is a centralized storage to uh, work entire team in one platform for example there is a team of data science so data science data engineer data analytics these all people can work at one centralized space that is fabric next comes to a different workspace roles so in workspace we will be having different roles like viewer contributor member and admin next comes to gateways so gateways is also very important topic next comes to uh, different sources connection so they will ask how many and different uh, what are different sources you uh, you have connected and work so these are the like uh, they will they are asking and it is very better to uh, connect the data sources with these uh, connections one is sql server data flow semantic model excel and sharepoint it really helps you to understand how it is connected so this is important and next comes to mostly asked dax questions uh, like calculated filter and all all except related related table use relationship y2d uh, ytd uh, month to date same period last year some make some switch etc so these are some mostly asked two questions we need to understand the syntax and at what time we need to use these dax functions we need to be aware of that next comes to the uh, base you should have a basic idea of power automate and power apps to stand out among all so in power automate we will be having cloud flow desktop flow so we should have a understanding to implement and what requirement we are working on to automate the task thank you so much rakesh for sharing these uh, people who will be watching this video you can note it down and it will be very helpful for you in your upcoming interviews Okay, Rakesh, can you tell me as a fresher, as a Power BI developer, how much salary we can expect in the market? Uh, yes, Shashank. According to the market, we can expect in between 4 to uh, 7 LPA. Okay, Rakesh, thank you so much for sharing your journey, your interview experience. It will definitely help a lot of people who will be watching this video. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shashank.